Okay, hello, this is Dr. Janes. Today, let's take a look here. We're, we're working on a, a Halloween project. Here we have our Arduino hooked up to a servo. And I just kind of have the servo turning slowly back and forth. Okay, so it turns one way, then it starts turning back the other way. So it's just kind of going back and forth. And uh, we have a, a harness, wire, wire harness that we made, where uh, one of the wires goes to, here, let's stop. So we have a five volts there, and then we have a ground up here. This pin is going to ground, and this pin is uh, pin nine. And the reason why I use pin nine, and we have it plugged into the computer right now, is uh, here are some IDEs, and uh, so, under examples, okay, um, basics, fade, so if you load up that example, I, I actually loaded that one and modified it, and I have the ID right here, okay, let's, and uh, basically it's to make the light on pin number nine. So let's look, pin number 9, LED is on pin number 9, make it kind of get brighter or dimmer. But the same uh, pulse width modulation that you would use to bright or dim the LED is used uh, to control servos. So you can just use that to control servos. So I thought this was an easy way to do that. And I just modified uh, how far it went. This was a bigger range. I changed it from uh, 50 to 150. And you have to make sure you start it out in between this range or it'll skip back and forth outside the range. This is OR right here. And I changed the delay, made the delay bigger so it will uh, go through the different fade settings much more slowly. So basically it's starting out with a pulse with modulation at 50 and going up to 150 and then back down with uh, this type of delay. And uh, that causes it to slowly turn back and forth. If you change the delay or the uh, the uh, the numbers here 50 or 150 then uh, it will turn more or less it was kind of having some issues when I had it turn too far I guess the servo didn't like like if you made this range too big and it would kind of jump around and stuff so I decreased the range to uh, accommodate that and uh, we'll try to maybe stick this guy onto a skeleton we'll get um some uh, wall plug power supply to plug it into the wall so we don't have to ha have it hooked up to the computer. We'll see how that turns out. Okay, so we have our skull here. Let's take a look at that. And our Arduino and servos and with hot glue gun. What we're going to do is we're going to put hot glue on the top of this and then quickly put the skull positioned over where we want it on the servo. Put, just put glue on this white thing right there. You want to explain that very well. Do you want me to put it right here yeah. in the middle? A whole or bunch. right here? You need to put a whole bunch just around the whole top of it. And do it quickly because you're going to have to put the skull on as soon as you get that. Not hot enough. Okay. Put the skull positioned over the servo. Is it centered? I guess that's pretty close to center. Okay. How is that looking? Is it dried yet? Yeah, we uh, have got a USB charger for our Arduino that we can plug into the wall. You want to plug that into the wall over there? I guess unplug the hot glue gun. Careful, don't pull the circuit off. Look, try holding it by the servo. I throw them away when they don't work. Okay, so the servo is making the head move back and forth. My question is, look, this way it goes smoothly. Yeah. The other way it starts ticking. I, I'm not sure exactly why it does that. It's It's been doing that since... uh. It's in your program. Well, I made the program so it goes the same both directions. Okay, so we have our skeleton. 
skeleton here, and it's propped up by a board that goes to the chair. Okay. Let's put the hot glue there. Just get a bunch of hot glue on the top of that board. When will you ever stop videotaping? And we'll stick the servo onto it. Just wait for it to dry. You gotta hold it in place. It's drying. It's looking pretty hideous. <clears throat> How dare you? It's supposed to. It's a Halloween thing. Isn't it supposed to look hideous? No, it's supposed to look good. Okay, it looks good. Okay. I didn't play on my piano songs yet. Be careful not to pull that down. Let's try plugging it in. So how do you hide the circuit? Oh, we can just put it someplace. I just wanted to put it out here so people can see it's being controlled by me. There we go. Do you want to do that? You want to go get the wig and put it on? What about his hands? Oh, we'll do that. careful with it. Oh, well, I don't know how to do it. Well, the stupid thing is turning. Yeah, that's what I thought. Oh, here you go. There you go. Oh, that's looking Only pretty you creepy. Do this. There we are. Sir, it's beautiful. Okay. Here's our Arduino skeleton project. Looks like it'll be a pretty cool Halloween decoration when we set it outside. Okay, anyway, this is Dr. James, and thanks for watching.